Your next performer coming to the stage. Uh, you guys make it loud right now for Mr. Harrison Fletcher, everyone. Harrison Fletcher, here he is! <laughs> I am not high enough for you people right now. How's it going? I was on the way over here, and I saw a mailman pulled over by a cop. Yeah. And I thought, if I was him, I'd probably be drunk too. <laughs> mailman has a tough job. He goes from mailbox to mailbox. He's always in traffic because he literally creates traffic. <laughs> Everyone hates this guy. They're all pissed off as they go by, flicking him off, honking at each other and whatnot. Eventually, he's got to go to the bathroom. And no one lets him in their house. Would you let a mailman in your house? No. Exactly. <laughs> Double no on that question. I did let a mailman in my house once. It was actually a male woman. I was a little kid. Not a male woman, a female male cur courier. You got, you got that. You got that. They're with me. Yes. Everything was fine. She just had to go to the bathroom. I don't know what his problem is, but. Uh, <laughs> So, traffic's good, you can see some cool stuff out there. I was coming home a couple nights ago, I see this kid at the end of his driveway, he's at the very top of the middle of his driveway, and he's sitting Indian style, he's got his phone out, and I was like, what in the hell? And I was like, oh, he's making a meme, okay, that's probably what he's doing. So I was like, I'm gonna take a Snapchat of this kid, because I'm an adult. <laughs> now, I was gonna say something like, ha, kids these days. <laughs> uh, and then I thought, now what's weirder, this kid like making a meme being on his phone outside, or me, a 28 year old, just straight up taking a picture of a kid? Uh, kind of thought about my life a little bit. I still took the snap, of course. I, I you know, hadn't done anything that day, so. Yeah. Um, that's right. I, uh, we had a good time getting home after work today. Anyone? Uh, no, no, not the Atlanta driving city. We didn't oh. all enjoy that together no. today. No. Oh, no. okay. I'm glad you're clear about that. Yeah. Um, uh, I get frustrated like many of you. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Um, I uh, lose a little bit of a sense of time sometimes. Sometimes a sense of myself in that frustration. Looking at you. Sometimes I get so frustrated that I feel like I'm stuck in an episode of The Twilight Zone and Rod Sterling, the original narrator, is gonna come out. Oh my. Yeah. Oh my. And he's gonna be like, Harrison Fletcher is a 28-year-old comedian <laughs> on his way to do a show in Atlanta, or so he thinks. But soon he'll find himself lost in a place where all of man's frustrations and anger lay bare, where time is nearly endless and death is just around the corner in a land known as Interstate 25. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> Holy shit, I didn't think I was gonna get through that. <laughs> you did it! <sighs> you did too, you definitely did. <laughs> see. Oh my, I'm yeah, fuck me. Mm. <laughs> I, uh, I do voiceovers, it's um, yeah, it's not that useful of a skill to have, no, it's, uh, it's cool though. Sometimes they, you know, they call you up, they're like, all right, listen, we need you to go, ladies and gentlemen. And that's it, that's all you, uh, that's the whole thing, so, uh, that's right. All right, well, that's gonna be my time, guys. My name's Harrison Fletcher. Keep it going for Ben Evans. One more time for Harrison Fletcher, everyone. Harrison, there he is.